Look, if you want to go abroad and find a traditional woman to spend the rest of your life with, that's totally okay. But what you have to realize is regardless of where you are in the world, energy doesn't lie. And just because a woman is more traditional doesn't mean she's an idiot. So if you're going abroad, you're getting your passport and you're going abroad with the intention to try to manipulate and gaslight women who don't speak English as well and aren't really accustomed to Western men and their mentalities and their manipulation tactics, know for certain that your energy's not gonna lie. Your energy's not gonna lie no matter how much you try to cover it up, no matter how many fancy dinners you take her to, how many gifts you buy, how many compliments you give her. If you have negative underlying intentions, they will show up in your energy and she will pick up on it. That's one. The second thing that I feel like you guys are completely forgetting about is that these traditional women are super protected by the men in their families. So if you ever go abroad and try to mess with one of these girls, these traditional women, you do her wrong or you cheat on her or you lie to her, she's gonna send the men in her family after you and they will be. They probably will. You know why? Because you're a foreigner who came to their country to mess with their women that they actually respect. Well, the main lesson here to be really blunt is to not feel like you're untouchable just because you got a passport and you're in another country because your energy can't lie. It can't. You gotta change your intentions in your heart and mind in order for your energy to change. You can't hide it. And they may not be able to tell what's wrong with you right away, but eventually they'll figure it out. And if they don't figure it out, when it comes time for you to meet their families, because again, these are traditional women, they don't do the dating, they go right into marriage, which means you have to meet her family and her dad and impress everyone in her family. If you do all of that successfully, then you got the traditional wife you wanted. Congratulations. Otherwise, before you catch flights, catch this reality. I sense bitterness in a message and it would be a mistake for the passport bros to listen to this kind of woman. <laughs> Check. You guys ask me all the time, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? You're always talking about men. What do you bring to the table? I'll tell you. I'll tell you once and for all what I'll actually bring to the table because I thought about this one and I was like, this is the only thing I can bring to the table. You know how they say, you know, when a man's working and he's tired and he's stressed and he's making money and he's doing all these man things. He just needs a woman to bring him some peace, right? So what is peace to a man? It's being quiet. So what I'm going to bring to the table is a set of closed lips. Just sit there like that. Does that work? I feel like that's enough. I do. I honestly feel like if I can just sit at the table and not say anything, that would be enough for a man. Listen, I'm not even playing, okay? I actually have no problem sitting there at the table, happy and quiet. Right? Like, it definitely works, okay? And if you're mad, get a life because this is mine. Goodness. It's not your simping. You have no qualities at all that uh, men are looking for or those qualities that uh, keep a man and the sooner you figure it out the better otherwise you hit the wall. <laughs> the real reason why I'm single is because I simp so hard and so fast. I can't. I need to stop. I don't know how to stop being a simp. I swear to God, when I find a guy that I like, I start sipping for him right away. I hate it. It makes me sick. It makes me ill. And then he's like, oh, got her. I can switch up now. Act different. And then he does. He switches up and he acts different. And then I'm still sipping for him. And I don't know how to get out of that cycle, to be honest with you. That's my weakness is when I like someone, I like them. I want to be with them. I don't want to give up. I don't want to walk away. So I simp. I simp hard and it makes them take advantage of me. So I'm staying single because I'm clearly mentally ill. I need to figure out my mental illness, figure out why I simp so hard for a man. He should be the one sipping for me. I feel like that's why it's an even better idea to have a roster because when you have a roster, you can't simp too hard. So it's like one day I'll simp for this guy, one day I'll simp for that one. And I feel like for a while it works, but then I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but all of a sudden, my brain will switch up and I'll stop liking all of them. I'll get rid of my entire roster in like one or two days. I'm like, cut, 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 cut. Because if I can't have all my feelings invested in one person, then I want no feelings for anyone. 
period. 8% of women initiate divorce. This is just an opinion as to why I think it's happening. What men want has not changed. Men want a nurturing partner to produce offspring and a peaceful home. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a man. On the flip side, what women want and what is expected of them has changed. I fell into this trap that I can do anything that my husband can do but better. I can have a career like a man but act like a woman and then take care of everything in the house. Because according to Instagram, it's possible. According to feminism, if I'm not doing it, then I'm cutting myself short. And according to other women, if I don't have a job, I don't have value. According to magazines, if I don't look good while doing it, then I'm a lazy slob. When I was trying to do all the things, I kept thinking to myself, man, I need a wife. So I ended my toxic relationship with feminism. The guys pop their balloons to reject the girl. Single woman, reveal yourself. <laughs> Alright, so, what is your name? Jabiana. So guys, based off all of that, Damn! I know you. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Stop the cap! Stop the cap! Stop the cap! I'm really happy to be here in America. American women really mean, care too much about money. But here, Argentina women, nice. Everything come from here. They actually like men. None like in America. What's wrong with the way I'm talking? I was just sounding like that to help you understand. I'm being supercilious? What is that, a Spanish word? It's English? Well, I haven't heard of that, so I feel like you're making fun of me. Of this passport bros video going around where American women are getting kind of upset that when are we gonna escape this mentality? She said that these bros are not marrying foreign women because they speak a little English or because they have a lack of education, but because they're more nourishing and more caring. You're describing a maid, a free lift and one for the rest of your life at that. And at the end of the video, she's like, oh, this is mutually beneficial. And if it doesn't work out for you, just leave. Leave where? With who? With what money? In a foreign country where you speak a little English and have little education? Just do like a little more thinking, girl. Why do they want to marry women that can't speak the predominant language? Because they're easier to control. It's not as easy as you're saying. So stop misinforming people. Stop defending these low lives who are Praying on our sisters. I'm Benzo. Subscribe to my channel and thumbs up on the video. Let me see you in the comment section what you think about these women. <laughs> uh, I'll see you in the next one.